An Atlantic County band's dream has become reality. Introducing the new Cove Beach Hotel, the latest project from a pair of brothers from Ventnor. And meet the sustainability hero of the month. Hey there, I'm Brandi Hitt, and this is your Access Network News Brief. An Atlantic County band is taking the music industry by storm. This summer, the band Isn't It Always hit 16 on the digital radio tracker Top 50 Rock Airplay chart. Devin Sheck created the band while at Fernwood Middle School in Egg Harbor Township, and it grew when he attended Charter Tech High School. Now at first, when the band wasn't making money, they switched to covers. But when fellow classmate from Charter Tech, music producer Keyshawn Wyman came into the picture, the band took off. Wyman said of the band, my team and I are super excited for their future. It's super dope to go to high school with Devin, and years later, we are still pushing forward toward our dreams. The Cove Beach Hotel celebrated its grand opening in Ocean City on Friday. Yogi Katiwala and his brother Raj completely remodeled the Wyoming, most recently known as the Ocean Breeze Hotel, and renamed it the Cove Beach Hotel. The brothers have done this with about eight other properties in town, including the Scarborough Inn and the Forum. Now, situated just two blocks from the beach and boardwalk, it provides guests the perfect balance of convenience and tranquility. Executive Director of the Ocean City Regional Chamber of Commerce, Michelle Gillian, said at the ribbon-cutting ceremony, Thank you for investing in Ocean City. Thank you for your family investing. Hotel management, thank you for all you do for Ocean City. You're bringing tourism to Ocean City. You're doing it the right way. We really appreciate it. And introducing the Sustainability Hero of the Month. Sustainable Margate Chairman Steve Jasiecki was given the honor from the organization that leads municipal green teams across the state. Jasiecki is known to the locals as Scuba Steve and is a former professional photographer. He said he is alarmed by the degradation of the ocean and the bleaching of the coral in tropical areas, saying people need to be aware of what's happening with global warming and the environment. The environment provides us with the food, air and clean water that sustains us. Over the last decade, Scuba Steve has been integral in educating the public about the marine environment by tabling at local events and attending municipal meetings in Down Beach and throughout the county to advocate for a clean environment. I'm Brandi Hitt. Thank you so much for watching today's Access Network News Brief. And please follow us on social media as well to stay up to date for more news headlines and events.